So my siblings were outside collecting some worms. There's uh, two worms in there. You probably can't see the other one, but there's one big, oh, and there's the other one. So we we were able to catch a couple of worms. And so I have one here. I think it's still alive. I hope it is. Um, I'll give it a nudge here. There we go. Yeah, it's still alive. Well, we're going to... When I looked at this worm under the microscope, I was really, really, really surprised. I, I didn't actually know about this before I looked at it. So let's, let's see. So I spent the next 10 to 15 minutes trying to show you an earthworm under the microscope, but I couldn't get the camera to focus. So in the meantime, let me tell you about earthworms themselves. Earthworms belong to a group of worms known as segmented worms, and you it's actually pretty cool. You can actually see each individual segment of the worm uh, with the naked eye, and you can you can even see it in this video here. An average worm about this long will have about 100 to 150 segments in their body. And for years, I thought that this is how a you know a worm just pushed itself through the dirt. Earthworms are decomposers, which means that they clean up after everyone's done with their meals. They eat dead plants and animals, and sometimes they'll even eat dirt and small, very small rocks. The nutrients that that animal or plant that is now dead took in during its life is now being recycled into the ground, and it's essentially enriching the ground again, which is, I think it's pretty cool. that worms they they take something that's apparently trash that looks like trash nobody else would eat it but they'll eat it and they'll actually make the world a better place for other animals to thrive and survive and to take advantage of that uh, ecosystem earthworms are also very widespread in fact if you were to round up every single worm that lives on planet earth their weight would be more than the hu the total human population's weight Take that in for a couple seconds. What I didn't know about earthworms is that they have spines. Yeah. In fact, these spines are called kita. Kita is the singular form for each of these uh, spines, and kite is apparently the plural form for these spines. It's Greek for crest, mane, flowing hair, etc. These kite or kita. Um, cover each segment of the worm's body, which is really cool. So. While I thought that those segments were actually the ones that propelled the worm through the body, it is, except that there's a key component to that, and that is the kita or the kite, um, those spines that are surrounding the segments, which is really, really cool. We've all heard of these spined worms. In fact, there's a ton of them in the oceans. I mean, there's the red, I think it's called the red bearded worm or whatever, but they have these spines and they've adapted these spines to be a mechanism to inject venom into their threats. If somebody steps on the, one of those spiked worms, good luck, because those spines now have venom sacs where they'll inject venom into your foot or whatever, however you touch it. Caterpillars also took this method and they've taken it and some caterpillars even have these spines over an inch long, over an inch long on a body that's like a quarter of an inch in thickness. They are, adapted to help the worm the earthworm propel through the through the dirt or whatever ground it's in while others have adapted these long spines to hurt the animals that want to eat them or to have them for a snack and say no don't eat me i just thought it was really cool and i didn't know if a lot of you knew about this but i certainly didn't and so that's why i'm making this video so well i thought i made i thought that this was a new discovery it wasn't, unfortunately. Apparently, a ton of other people already knew about this, and I was just late to the party. You know, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you think I earned it, make sure you subscribe. Um, I'm just really, I just, yeah, it was just really cool. <laughs> Man. He's running for his life. Oh, oh, and here he comes. He's coming out of the container. Okay.